but you think the rate of change between populations and this amount of separation is great enough, then you can create something that's essentially racist. Uh, kind of a long question here, but the it seems like the, the debate of polygenism versus monogenism assumes that species are immutable, but uh, evolution yeah, kind of I think, uh, contradicts yeah. that. So uh, Christianity insists on the distinctiveness and special status of humans. How can we reconcile that? Yeah, so I, I, the way I see it is that um, there is a common feature between polygenesis, um, racist forms of polygenesis and racist forms of monogenesis, um, in the sense that um, it's not actually about fixity of species, it's really about how long things have been separated and how quickly they can change. So if you're, I mean, everyone who affirms evolution thinks that we had a common ancestor at some point in the past, right? But if that was so far in the past that the rate of change is enough that you can still produce distinct populations, then it becomes a polygenesis theory. And, and um, some people who are monogenesis, even if you think Adam and Eve is very recent, let's just say 6,000 years ago, but you think the rate of change between populations and this amount of separation is great enough, then you can create something that's essentially racist. Um, so I think for that reason, anything that shows that the rate of change is slower or that shows that um, it's not separated, so it's a shared change, or that shows that the, that the commonality was more recent, ends up subverting a racist views of origin. Um, and so that's, uh, I think that's how I, I would say it. It's kind of a balance between those three variables. And that's why you can see racist versions of monogenesis, and why I would say even Gold mentions, I mean, I don't think 150,000 years ago is recent, but he says very recent. The reason why he's emphasizing recent uh, from mitochondrial Eve is he's trying to have that to be a small number and compared to the amount of change. And that's why I think it becomes very important. The way how people are uh, currently talking about race and biology now isn't that there isn't differences between different populations, but that we're linked in a common evolutionary fate by a great deal of interbreeding. And so, um, and so what that means is, is that the amount of our connection is far, um, is far more recent than, um, than, um, than the rate of change. Therefore, we end up being a single biological unit.